When I told them that we are in trouble and I need you to work through this with me, I needed to feel like that I was a priority and that we were a priority. If there's no effort made or put into us, we're not gonna end up together. She's having arguably the toughest season yet, but as the longest running Real Housewife of Beverly Hills, her diamond still shines bright. Please welcome back to E! News, some woman named Kyle Richards? I is it, have you heard of is her? Is it Kyle? Oh. I don't know. Yeah, you see that. <laughs> How are you? Um, okay, so I want to start with last night's episode. It was, you know, it was such a tearjerker, and it felt very hard. What is it like for you to have to relive this all again? Um, I didn't watch it. Okay. It's, you know, it was hard enough shooting it and, you know, feeling that vulnerable in front of the cameras, knowing, you know, what was going on, you know, at home. Yeah. But to uh, watch it again, it's just, it's really hard. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some parts I just don't want to watch, so I skip that. I skip that. Right? Well, okay. it's interesting because you guys have been together for how many years? Married 28 as of <sighs> January 20th. And what's the hardest part about this separation for you? Going through this in the public eye. Absolutely. I mean, I, it's because it feels like you know, everybody wants to know and that they feel they're entitled to know every detail of my life because I've been, you know, showing my life and sharing my life with everybody for 13 years. And it's not that I'm lying or withholding. I'm figuring it out still. I you tell know, that to people. I'm figuring it out. And, you know, that's the thing that people don't get. And I don't have answers. And my, you know, I, they think I'm teasing them and I'm dragging down. I'm wanting to do this for ratings. I am figuring it out right now, you know, and we are figuring out as a couple and I'm figuring out what I need myself. And when I do know and when we know where our life is going next, you're going to know. Yeah. Are you afraid of what Maurice might say on his show? Oh, I've seen some things that I was like, you know, it, it's just so strange. You know, it's playing out, you know, on this show and th that show. So, yeah, there are things because the day that it, the story came out that we were separated. Mm -hmm. I was actually in Aspen with my family. Mm -hmm. And the next day, the Buying Beverly Hills Netflix cameras were showing up. Oh, wow. So, and then, you know, of course this happened and the cameras came up again for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And I was like, I mean, there's just no escaping it. So mm -hmm. I think that, you know, you know, if we were to go through this without the ma magnifying mm -hmm. glass, I don't know, I think it'd be a lot easier to navigate for sure for sure this week on Vanderpump Rules we're sort of seeing um, Tom and Ariana they are living in the same house but they only communicate through the assistant and like you know the, the sound machines but there are you guys at that point yet where it's like are you still have a good mm. relationship at least to get stuff done we do not fight we were we're not a toxic couple we were never fighters Justin can tell you yeah um, so no, that is not an issue in our relationship at all. We live under the same roof <laughs> in different rooms. It sounds, I can't believe like, the fact that I even say this is out loud just sounds so crazy to me, honestly. Um, it's just so bizarre to me, even myself. But there's no fighting. You know, we, we do have other homes, you know, thank God. We're very fortunate in yeah. that sense. So, but even when we are all there, it, you know, it's like texting the family chat, what time is everyone gonna be home for dinner and will you be here if not? And, and then he's like, yes or no. And we're each allowed to do what we want to do. Yeah. So, which is very strange, but I don't ask. And, you know. Don't tell. Yeah, don't, whatever. Like, you know, so if, you're, if he's there, great. I'm making dinner for everybody. And no one's fighting. I love that. Well, speaking of relationships that we know and love, your sister came to the reunion a few weeks ago. Did you know she was showing up? Oh, yeah. Yes. I mean, we are in a good place right now, and she has been so supportive. And, you know, I get messages from her all the time. I get phone calls at 4.30 in the morning when she knows I'm just waking up and she hasn't gone to bed yet. And she, <laughs> she knows I'm awake because I liked something on Instagram. <laughs> and she, she'll call me, I'm like, Kathy, what are you doing? She goes, no, I saw you were up. Anyway, uh, oh, you saw because I, I liked something. Of course. Your fingers I got mean, you in trouble. this is her, yeah. Well, Could we see Kathy Hilton come back to the show please. next season? I would love it. Well, if I'm I'll there, tell you who it would cut. make sense. If you were there, it would make sense. I, yeah, so well, I guess that's time will tell, you know.
Because you're up in the air of whether you're going back or not. Listen, I know that each year I say, I don't know, never say never and all that, you know, but um, I, I, I just honestly don't know yet. I don't know where my life is going to be at in a week or two. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be like when the cameras go up again and where, where, where my life will be at yeah. and what I'm going to be, you know, comfortable with. I don't know. Well, speaking of comfortable, it yeah. seems like Erica is getting comfortable. Woo! Bet it all on Blonde Drop this week, the trailer, and she opens up quite a bit about Tom, something that she didn't do on, on Beverly show. Hills. Yes. Were you surprised to see it? Well, you know, she wanted to be more open. She had her hands tied for legal reasons, which I understood. So I'm so happy to see her be able to finally share more of her story. And, you know, to have her, you know, be back and doing her thing and seeing this part of her life without all of the distraction of what goes on in the group. You know, I'm just, as her friend, it makes me really happy to see her doing this. Yeah. I love seeing her show in Vegas. Yeah. It was great. That was amazing. So. She was amazing. Well, Kyle, thank you for being here. I love how you don't act like we weren't FaceTiming at like 5 a.m. today. <laughs> the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills airs Wednesday nights at 8 on our sister network, Bravo, and streams the next day on Peacock.